What's up, GI babies? It's your girl Tamara GI, and today we are working with Wiggins Hair. So let's go ahead and get into this install. Um, I wanted to kind of show you guys the beginning process a little bit on this video, just so it could be like a little bit more detailed. So as you guys can see, we're working with that brownish color hair with the highlights. We're getting into it today, you guys. So uh, first things first, I'm showing you guys what came inside the cap, some lashes, you got a little cute little scarf, and you have your edge toothbrush so we're jumping straight into the bleach I use BW2 bleach the bleaching process isn't gonna be as detailed if you guys want me to do like a very 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 detailed video comment down below and I'll get it done for you guys but basically you just want to make sure that your mixture is really really thick like I showed you guys previously you guys seen that the bleach was not coming off of the brush and we're just brushing it along. I would say don't be heavy handed. Um, the only reason why it looks like I'm being really heavy handed is because the hair is already like brown. And I really didn't have to bleach it, but just so it can blend like really, 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 really seamlessly, I wanted to just put some bleach over it. Normally when I have these units, I don't bleach my hair, but I just wanted to ensure because this is the unit I was wearing out of town. And I was like, yeah, this gotta be bomb. So um, typically I let my bleach sit on my units for about 20 to 30 minutes. If I'm rushing, 20 minutes. If I'm letting it sit, probably 30 to 45. I use 40 volume developers, so I wasn't really as adamant on washing it out right away because you guys know the volume, it's how fast the bleach will take to the knots. And everything bleached really well. I didn't have any over bleaching or anything with this unit, and I am washing it off with really hot water. For no specific reason, that's just something that I did. So now I'm taking my Shimmer Light Shampoo and just putting it on there to neutralize that bleach that we just put on our knots. So now I didn't go as detailed at, with the plucking as well. I just showed you guys one side. But basically for plucking, I would say the main tips that you need to know for plucking is just plucking from left to right. Don't pluck too much in the same parts. And section off how many sections you want depending on how your wig is um, made and depending on how, many, how much space you have on the lace. So um, you guys will see me doing little sections and plucking. Really all the plucking is up to you how thin you want the hairline to look so it can blend seamlessly and look like scalp.
all right you guys so we are about to get started with this ball cap um today i'm trying to execute this hairstyle very 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 cute i got my braids going i am going out of town and i just want this hair to be so laid but i feel like this is gonna be the one i remember when i had highlights and i wore this shirt and it came out so cute so that's why i just went and changed my shirt because i was like i wore this shirt and my install was so bomb so hopefully this install comes out super bomb as well because i'm wearing the same shirt <laughs> i don't know y'all know y'all just be doing weird stuff in your head like that i don't know and um uh, one tip that i wanted to say i know i get a lot of comments like people ask me like how i still have my edges and i wear all these wigs and frontals and stuff and i feel like the main reason is because of the ball cap method and the steps that i use when executing this ball cap method i really feel like um you know how people be like like some people put their wigs a little bit too over their hairline like i would highly suggest putting your wigs like a little bit over your hairline putting the glue a little bit over your hairline because that is what actually helps for this install i am going to be using a different type of glue i'm going to be using the kiss mighty all almighty bond this I've seen this before and when I went to the V supply store and I was getting all of my extra things, I wanted to just pick this up just to see how it works really because I love this little tip that's on there. So we're going to see how this works and this glue is very affordable. So I feel like this would be really good for like my babies that are beginners and I, they, they don't want to purchase those glues that's like 30 40 dollars. So I feel like this would be a good alternative. I've seen a lot of people who do slay their wigs using this so we'll see. And of course I always have my goat glue. Um, if I have some parts that I have to go back to, I'm probably going to go back with the goat glue just so I can make sure that it has like a very, 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 very good hold. But I just didn't want the, um, you know how sometimes the goat glue will give you like a little residue. Like sometimes, depending on how you put it on, I just want everything to dry like, um, invisible and everything is just really good because I'm really, really excited for this install and I really want it to come out very, very well. So then following up after I've used this goat glue, I like to go in with my Even New York spray. And you guys know my last install, I've been using the black version and I really like the black version. I have my black, my red version as well. If you guys can't see, it's posted up in the back right there. <laughs> but um, I really like this. So the goat glue is so powerful and it holds real good. So only thing I really do for an extra hold is just spray that extra holding spray right here. And this is not too harmful on your hair, so you'll be good. I have my um my hooded dryer set it up back there, and I'm going to sit under the dryer like I'm at the beauty salon. <laughs> cream foundation in a color 14 you can find this at your beauty supply store
And I only have like a little, little bit of alcohol left, y'all. I don't know why I haven't went and got some more. But whatever is in there, we're going to try to make it last. Okay, so you just take your alcohol. And I really need to go and get my, uh, my other stuff that I used to use because... I don't know why I didn't get it while I was at the Beast store. Okay, so I cleared my forehead off of this makeup. The only thing we have is the makeup on our ball cap. My baby's never been rocking with me, y'all already know. The only skin guard I really use is the Erica J skin guard. And that's pretty much the only thing I really use from her line is her skin guard. So no specific reason. I just bought her products, didn't really like them, but the skin guard does what it needs to do. So that's what we're gonna use. Cover your lashes if you got lashes. And for the back, y'all, for the back, I literally don't be doing nothing to the back of my wig. So I just let it hang. <laughs> Make sure. I already wand curled a little bit of it in the back because. Um, I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to get the back the way I wanted it, but I knew when I started installing it that it was going to be, um, you know, it was going to be the curls was, I was going to get the curls out anyway. So it was no point in me wand curling in front just for me to go back over it. So I just waited. <laughs> okay. So by the looks of this, I feel like this is going to be. A really really good install already don't be afraid to cut this out of your ears So we're gonna spray our hot comb. And this is one of my um, new hot combs by Hi2 Pro Silk. I got this from my beauty supply store because I just like that it was like smaller than like a regular size one. I felt like the smaller one would kind of get into the areas that I'm trying to get a little more. Okay guys, so for um, this install, I wanted to do the section by section method. And I actually did four layers for each side because like I said before, I am I was going out of town. So I wanted to make sure that my hold was very, very, very secure. Of course I brought like lace glue with me just in case, but you know, when you out of town, you don't have to worry about your hair, like what? <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I had enough layers on there. And it was just my first time using this glue. So I wasn't really sure as to how it held up. Um, I just want to take a minute just to tell you guys about this glue, you guys, cause you know, these steps are something that you guys see me do all the time. But let me just get into this kiss glue. This kiss glue, I really, really loved working with it and I will be working with it some more in the future. Um, I'm actually gonna go to the beauty supply store and give me a couple more tubes just so I can be prepared. <laughs> because I really love the, just the way that the glue is made. The dual tip is just amazing. And the glue is very good. Like when I was out of town, I had no problems out of this glue, no lifting, no anything. Like this glue did what it had to do.
So one thing that I really, really, really love about this hair is the way it took these wand curls was just so amazing. Like after I got done with this hair, like people actually thought that this was the texture of the hair. Like, and you guys could clearly see that that's not the texture of the hair. The texture is more like a body wave. And the fact that it just took like a loose wave ish, deep curl type look after I did the wand curls, it was just so amazing. And these curls held up for so long. Like I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my final thoughts and things on this hairstyle right now as we're doing the wand curls because I didn't get a chance to film like my last results, like me talking. So I just want to tell you guys how I pretty much felt about the hair. I feel like this hair is a 10 out of 10 because it's very soft and the way that it took these wand curls which is so bomb the wand curls did not drop at all when I was traveling it just all I had to do was kind of redo some because you know when you brush your hair out you have to brush the hair like if you guys do do the wand curls make sure that you brush the hair out from times and you have to redo your wand curls because you don't want the hair to get like matted not matted but you don't want the hair to get tangly because it is you have to brush hair like you can't just go without brushing hair but yeah that's basically what I mean about what I'm trying to say but I really really love this hair everything about this hair which is so bomb like everything came out so perfect 10 out of 10 I would highly recommend this company because they always come through And as you guys can see, these wand curls came out so bomb. I was very pleased. Like, I just love the curly look. Like, it was just so bomb. So, shout out to Wiggins Hair. They came through on this style. All the information for this style will be down below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed. GI Babies, we out.